Hello guys, I'm here to demonstrate the data set with the cassette player made by Commodore. We're going to save our FM radio program from Commodore number four. And we're going to put on Commodore number three. If we can play our FM radio that is plugged into the back here. I don't have any drives hooked up, nothing special. Jiffy DOS turned off. So, uh, got Jiffy DOS off on here, so my data set will work. Nine. Quote. So we're going into our partition number nine on the hard drive here. Hit enter. And now we're going to load our directory. So we're going to load our FM radio. And we're going to save it to our tape drive. we're going to save it to tape. So if I ever want to save this to hear it later, we're going to start around 80 on the cassette. So here we go. The light indicates that we are saving it. Of course, on the Commodore screen, it will look like this. And I believe the counter should go 60 something numbers, so probably end up around 140, I guess. And that's how we used to save data back in. 1982 Want to save your program use a good old data set So it's saving our FM radio program right now. Once the screen comes back to normal, um, it should be saved and then we'll be good to load it up on this Commodore.
Got about 10 more to go. Or there it goes. So, it says it's saved. So go ahead and hit stop here. And rewind back to 80. Alright, so I'll shut her down. Plug the cord here. Plug her into the counter on. So we'll turn this on. Boom. So to get this FM radio working, this is trial number two. I'm going to load FM radio. Just hit enter and just say press play on tape. So we're going to hit the old play button. I hope it works because it would be pretty cool. So you'll notice we got the same blank screen while it's loading in the data. Found it. And then you'll see activity on the tape driving in. So the tape counter is going to go to about one one thirty. I need to hold down the Commodore key on that one. I went to 12840 column mode. This program here is 33 blocks. So, it's probably what about 3K? 8K? Somewhere in between there. Went further than it did last time. So we're loading some tape. Hell yeah. Got another 10 on the counter. Now that usually when you listen to the FM radio, you know, you put your radio stuff on tape but we're actually using the tape to play the FM radio Run. What happened last time? So it went. Adjust your volume. 
it for plus and minus T. So as long as we got this tape right here, we can listen to this. It's what it takes. With this little device here. Thought you guys enjoyed this. That's how you take a program from one computer, put it on tape, and load it on the other. And do something cool with it. Here's what you can do with this true I hope you all enjoy it, man. Build the vehicle that you're looking for if you're in the market for a new car. 